In the last section, we saw how to create controllers and implement services using best practices. In the second section, we are going to build the bulk of our TV show tracker app and extend on the code and concepts we used in the previous section. In this section, we are going to use the show factory service to provide search functionality. We will then take the results of the search and present them in an attractive UI, allowing the user to choose which shows to track. Finally, we will learn how to persist this data to local storage so that users track shows are saved over refreshes. In this video, we will take on the first task of providing a method for performing a TV show search. This will allow us to extend on the best practices learned in the last chapter and understand how to interact with an API. This is the show factory service created in the last chapter. We have already set up the make request function to do a HTTP call to the TMDB API which allows us to retrieve various information about different TV shows. We are going to create another function in this factory that will allow us to submit a query to the service and retrieve TV show results. Firstly then, we should create a function which makes use of the already available make request function to submit a query to the search API endpoint. The make request function takes two arguments, the URL to the API endpoint, in this case search slash TV, and the payload which will allow us to submit the search query. Using the then function, we are able to return the search API request results to the calling scope when the request is successful. By returning the make request function itself, it makes use of promises, we will then be able to use the promise functionality in the calling scope, which you will see shortly. If you would like to learn more about promises and see how useful they can really be, check out this article. So the search function is available outside of the factory we just need to add it to the data object at the top of the factory. To make use of the search functionality, we first need to inject it into our search controller. We then make a search function available on the view model so that it can be called from the template. Inside, we call the search function on the show service factory, and for now we'll just console.log the results. So we can test that it is working. At the bottom of the controller, we will call the query function with a static search query of Game of Thrones. Excellent. If we go to the search page with the console open, you will then see the console.log results that we added to the controller. You will see an array of objects with a single object within it and showing TV show data for Game of Thrones. To conclude, in this video we have easily interfaced with the TMDB TV Show API to provide search functionality and seen it successfully working. In the next video, we will build a UI for the search results and provide the user with a search form to submit their own query.